Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, I'll be sharing with you three very important PNP draws. Complete detail, complete analysis. But one thing I'm going to share with you that one of the draw is unique, which happened for the first time. What is that? I will share all the information with you. But before that, a small request, if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips, tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. And if your file is going on for Canadian immigration or you are an aspirant of coming to Canada, my friend, this is the channel you need to subscribe on to. So without further delay, let's move on to a very, very important video, which is about the three PNP draws which happened recently and one of the draw as I said is a unique draw. So first I'll be starting with Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan has done 7th PNP draw of 2023. Saskatchewan has conducted a unique SINP draw. Saskatchewan's PNP is called SINP, Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. They have done a very unique kind of SINP draw. What is the uniqueness? I will share with you. But before that, let me explain you the categories. Because if you don't know the categories, then you won't be able to understand the draw. So Saskatchewan PNP is basically divided into three broad categories. The first category is your Saskatchewan experience. The second category is international skilled workers. And the third category is entrepreneurs and farm workers. So Saskatchewan experience this is the category which is further divided into five other categories, but the category means that you have worked in Saskatchewan already. Maybe you are a student, maybe you are a worker, but you have already worked in Saskatchewan. So Saskatchewan experience, this is further divided into existing work permit holders, then healthcare workers or healthcare professionals, long haul truck drivers, then students and then the last is hospitality industry. So these are the five categories under Saskatchewan experience class and now moving on to international skilled worker. International skilled worker is the focus of today because draw happened in this category. So international skilled worker under this very famous category express entry. So under express entry, you have a plus you have employment offer, then you have occupations in demand and then you have tech talent. So tech talent, like many other provinces, Alberta, BC, Ontario, Saskatchewan has also come up with their own tech program called tech talent. I have a complete video on this. You can watch that if you have not seen that. But the focus of today is express entry as well as occupation in demand. Draw happened in these two categories. So let us talk about this. And first of all, when did the draw happen? Draw happened August 16th. August 16th, the draw happened in two categories, express entry and occupation in demand. In express entry, 345 people were invited under occupation in demand. 297 people were invited total 642 people are invited. So this is kind of the broad information, but now you will say what is unique. The unique part is for the first time in history, it has never been done before. First time in history, they have selected the countries also. Well, you do select provinces, do select occupations. They say, oh, we need plumber, we need electrician, we need doctors, we need nurses, we need truck drivers, but never ever countries are selected. For the first time they have selected the countries that people will come only from these countries. So let us see. And what happened is the country selected. So under express entry 345 people were invited out of which Ireland 23 Poland, Czech, Germany, Lithuania and Slovakia. So 98 and India, which has the maximum share, 
224. Total 345 people were invited under the express entry. Now, in occupations in demand countries, we have Ireland 12, Poland, Czech, Germany, Lithuania and uh, Slovakia. We have 78 and India again 207. 207 people. Again, the maximum share goes for India. 297 is the total number of people invited. So this is the important information that even now they are picking up the countries from where the immigrants can come. And with that, let us look at the snapshot. As I said, this is a seventh draw. Total till now 5208 people are invited. So date by date, draw by draw, all information right in front of your eyes. So moving on to from Saskatchewan, moving on to the next province, which is BC. BC conducts a draw every Tuesday. This is the fourth PNP draw by BC in the month of August. And I hope we will see the fifth one also. So because August month is longer and we have uh, Five Tuesdays so hopefully we'll get another one also now what happened in the draw draw happened August 22nd and again BC conducts a draw in two parts general draw and targeted draw so here is the general draw information and here is the targeted draw information BC targets three categories usually and these are healthcare professionals early childhood educator as well as veterinary doctors. So I will go again line by line this category and provide you the analysis. So draw happened on August 22nd, 229 people were called out of 229, 169 people are in the general draw and 60 people are in the targeted draw. Out of the targeted draw, early childhood educators 33 and then you have 23 people who are coming in from healthcare worker, healthcare sector, and four are from veterinary doctors. So this information is right in front of you. Now let's see the snapshot. The snapshot basically tells you how many people are invited till now. So look at this data right in front of your eyes. 6,758 people are invited under the BC PNP category and in the month of August, four draws already happened. So this is the information about the BC PNP draw. Let us now move on to the, my favorite province, another favorite, which is because it is a very small province, but very much focused on immigration. And you must have guessed it. It is Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island is conducting the 14th PNP draw. Very small province, highly focused on immigration, Prince Edward Island. And Prince Edward Island is so small that you cannot even locate on the map. So I am showing with the help of the arrow right in front of you. This is the province, Prince Edward Island. And it also offers three different types of options. First option is Prince Edward Island PNP, which we are going to talk today. The second option is federal and the third option, which is not available to all provinces. Atlantic provinces have a special privilege that they have a third option also. That third option is called Atlantic Immigration Program. So immigration options, first option, as I said, is PNP category. Under PNP category, you have worker stream, you have entrepreneur stream, and then you have federal second and the third is your Atlantic immigration program. I have a complete video on Atlantic immigration program. If you have not watched that, please do watch. It will be very informative to you. So that Atlantic immigration. Now let's come back to the PNP draw. So this is in a, this is very special province. Only province which tells you ahead of time when is the draw happening. They already posted they already posted the dates for the draw. No province does that. This is the only province which tells you ahead of time. And this draw is August 17th. Next draw is 21st of September, right in front of your eyes. 
21st of September. So, but now let's talk about August 17 draw. August 17 draw, 142 people were invited out of that 138 are in express entry and four are in the business impact category and business impact category the score was 102. So with that, now let's look at the snapshot. How many people are invited by this small province almost close to 2000. So date by date, draw by draw, all information here in front of your eyes. Almost close to 2000 people are invited and this is just the PNP category. There is Atlantic also, there is federal component also. So you can see small province highly focused on immigration. With that, if you still need to discuss with your any of your case, any of your file with us, more than welcome. You can book an appointment and discuss your case with us. Our office is located in Brampton. Address, email ID, phone number. Everything is shared right here with you. Very important thing, if you have still not subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing. Our team puts lots of efforts to bring all this information to you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks.